What's up guys, 915mang here doing a video today about some gel filters. The thing is with gel filters, you can get them on Amazon or you can go have a hard time looking for them at the arts and crafts store or you can go on gel filter photography for saltwater aquariums on a Facebook group. It's an open group and I uh, got in touch with Mark Short. Mark Short, he sells like a package deal and this is why I'm doing the video because it's a lot easier to get them through him. I picked up the $10 combo, which is the uh, DSLR sheets and also for the cell phones. Um, I think it was only a couple more dollars for to get both. So the total I spent was $10 and that's including the uh, shipping. Um, he does take uh, PayPal, that's how I paid him. And I thought it was just a whole lot easier. Um, the orange gel filters that I was giving away last time, I actually picked those up at uh, Hobby Lobby as a big old sheet of uh look like some wrapping paper but all the gel filter is is a little plastic sheet that's uh colored as you can see there are uh, different shades of orange yellows browns dark browns and uh i'm gonna mess around with it and show you the difference take a look with the uh, filter on this is just in front of my cell phone i didn't start messing around with the uh, iso or shutter speed or anything like that it's just the film directly on top of the lens of the camera and this is being done with my cell phone now once you start playing around with the settings and everything you can go ahead and get uh, this kind of look you know you can get the corals to pop a lot more you drown out a lot of that blue light that interferes with the camera and you can start seeing okay these are some of the corals of the the colors of the corals what kind of camera am I using to record this is a regular cell phone I'm using a Samsung uh, Note 5 and I've also had the Apple 6 Plus. Um, I actually like both phones. But for video, for some reason, the uh, Samsung just dominates the uh, video. Both phones are great. But, um, you know, I guess it's just a matter of preference. For me, you know, since I do the videos and I like to take a lot of pictures, the uh, Samsung wins for me. But with these kind of gel filters, um, you know, both cameras should do great. Um, I was talking to uh, CDN Studman, and I was telling him, hey, we had the same discussion. I told him, you know what, I like the uh, Samsung Note 5 a lot better. But of course, you have to manually adjust your phone settings, your camera settings, and you got to play with the ISO. You got to mess around with the uh, Kelvin, the uh, shutter speed. The You got to mess around with everything. And once you do that, you can save it into a custom mode. Our custom savings and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute but as you can see the corals just pop they florence fluoresce a lot better and I'm just using a regular AI prime and it's looking pretty good speaking of the AI prime this is my look that they just came out with the AI HD of course I knew they were going to do that because now all of uh, aqua illumination lights are HD so my luck guys anyways here we go I'm going to show you what I do. This is shooting in the pro mode for the uh, Samsung. You have all kinds of options, white balance. You can select it for autofocus or not. You can mess with the aperture, the uh, speed, whether you want it to be daylight, tone. You can do all kinds of things and you just play around with the different color filters and that will get you in the ballpark of where you want to be. So as you can see, it makes a big difference. Um, you can adjust it, manipulate it the way that you want. The way that I like to use it is just to cut out the blues and just show the corals. Um, and that's what the gel filters do for me. Saw so in the beginning of the video, I got a whole bunch of gel filters. I'll let you know as time goes on, which is the best filter that I like or my top three, top five filters and uh, just go from there. Um, but so far, I really like the quality of them and uh, it's doing the job guys. Light settings are a little bit different with LED and T5s so I'm going to go ahead and show you the 20 gallon long um, as far as the uh, customization and we're just going to go ahead and have a little bit of fun with it.
there you have it guys hope you found this video helpful make sure to uh, check out those gel filter sites get yourself a plastic box like and subscribe guys and you guys have a good one thanks guys take care